Today, we will show you the basics of configuring an MPEG transport stream setup. Using MPEG transport stream allows you to send your encoder's video feed from point A to point B to either a decoder or a computer over the internet. This stream mode is often used in broadcast environments and live productions because it offers a direct transport across the internet. This video is designed to provide an overview of the configuration necessary for transport stream. Your configuration will vary based on the network environment and available bandwidth. Before continuing, please be aware that you will need to have purchased an MPEG transport stream license. To purchase, visit our online store or call our sales department. We also have demo licenses available. The encoder at point A will have your video feed. Also, the encoder must be connected to the internet via ethernet cable or through a wireless router with internet access. If neither of these are available, Teradek offers mobile cellular network solutions. Cube and Brick allow you to attach a single modem directly into its USB port. A much more robust solution is the Teradek Bond, which aggregates bandwidth from several cellular connections simultaneously and uses them in parallel to create a single, higher capacity connection for broadcasting over the internet. Once your cube is connected to the internet, go to Video Settings, Primary Stream. Under Stream Mode, switch to MPEG Transport Stream. The protocol will depend on your application and need. Once you have selected a protocol, you'll need to enter Point B's public destination IP address. For demonstration purposes, we have an Apple Airport Extreme at Point B connected to the public internet of the location. There are a few ways to identify your public IP address. Since our router is receiving internet through the public IP, we can use the Apple Airport utility. Click on the router and you will see the IP address listed at top. This is your destination IP address. Now that you have set your destination IP, specify your destination port. The default is 9710. Click Apply. Now at point B, we will show you how to receive the feed on a cube decoder and Apple computer. First, with a decoder, be sure that you are connected to the same router used before. We recommend a hard-lined Ethernet cable, but you can also connect via Wi-Fi. After you have connected to the router, you will need to identify the decoder's assigned private IP address. The quickest way is on the decoder screen. At the main menu, toggle down on the black joystick. Depending on how you connected your cube to the router, you will use this IP address. We have connected ours using an Ethernet cable. Now that we have your decoder's IP address, we will configure the router's port settings. In the airport utility, click on your router, edit, network. You will see your DHCP range. Your decoder's IP should fall into this range. Under port settings, click the plus sign. Depending on your transport protocol, you will enter the port number in the according line. For your private IP address, this is the IP address of the decoder we just identified. In the private protocol ports, enter a port number. The default is 9710. Depending on your network setup, there may be restrictions as to which port you can use. Click Save and Update. On your cube decoder, go to Video Setup, Decoder Settings, switch the decoder mode to MPEG Transport Stream. The protocol should be the same as selected before. The stream should be active. Apply changes. On your Apple computer, the setup is very similar. Note, only UDP is available in this configuration. Identify your computer's IP address. Go to Open Network Preferences. Click on the method of connection, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and your IP will be listed. Take this IP address and use this as the private IP address. As before, log into your airport utility and configure your ports. Then, open VLC player. File, open network, open RTP UDP stream. Protocol will be UDP. The mode is unicast. The port is what we specified in the airport utility. Click open. For further or advanced technical support, email support at teradec.com. For more information about Teradec, visit teradec.com.